Big story tonight, the water crisis facing Arizona and the Southwest. Take a look at this picture from Lake Mead. The water levels are so low that for the first time ever, you can see the reservoir's original water intake valve. Mm. The latest alarming sign about this water crisis. Lake Mead plays a pivotal role, of course, in supplying water to Arizona, California, and Nevada. Team 12's Josh Sanders is here now to explain what this means for us and our future. Water is the lifeblood of the Southwest. And pictures from the Southern Nevada Water Authority reveal just how serious life is changing. For the first time in 51 years, the water line at Lake Mead has fallen below the reservoir's original intake valve, supplying water to 2.2 million Nevadans, including Las Vegas. We started taking action about 20 years ago. Bronson Mack with the Southern Nevada Water Authority says that action building a new intake valve located at the bottom of the lake, becoming fully operational just this year. Southern Nevada would have lost half of its capacity to bring water into our community to meet water demand. Because we had the low lake level pumping station built, constructed, and ready to go, we were able to make a seamless transition but while Arizona is not impacted directly, earlier this month, federal officials warned the state's main water supply at Lake Powell is in jeopardy. 30% of the valley's water comes from the Colorado River, the other 70% from groundwater. Falling water levels could impact access to drinking water in northern communities like Page and the neighboring Navajo community of Lagie. This is really getting to a health and safety issue. When they say health and safety, Whose health and whose safety are they talking about? The health and safety of those who want to turn on the tap and have wet water. Josh Sanders, 12 News. Josh, thank you.